Equity Group Holdings grew its assets by 11% to cross the half a trillion shillings mark by the end of nine months ending 30th September 2017. The asset base hit 518.2 billion shillings, up from 468 billion at a similar period last year, driven by customer deposits which rose to 368.8 billion shillings. Releasing the 2017 third quarter results, Equity Bank CEO Dr. James Mwangi noted that the bank achieved a pre-tax profit of 20.7 billion shillings. We have profit of 20.7 billion uh, shillings before tax and uh, profit after tax of 14.6 billion shillings. I've also been amazed by the capability of Equity Bank. You lose 42% of your interest income in loans, uh, you gear in uh, treasury and that reduces that 42 to negative 11 and then uh, you have uh, net interest income negative 12 but you gear in further income to 28 and your total income remained the same as the previous year. This to me is the greatest uh, achievement of a very focused management team. The group's adaptive strategy grew non-funded income by 28% from 16.6 .6 billion shillings to 21.3 billion shillings. We said if you can't make uh, money on interest income, can you generate non-funded? The advantage of non-funded income is its quality. It's of very high quality because uh, it has no uh, growing effect of default, it's realized income. A growth of 113% in interest income from government securities in Kenya and a growing loan book in the regional subsidiaries offset the combined effects of capping of interest rates. Yes, we may call them temporary headwinds, but uh, they determine uh, quite uh, a lot. These headwinds have taken the momentum of growth. Agents share every day between three and five million shillings in terms of commission. So it's what you could call shared prosperity. Dr. Mwangi said the group's regional expansion continues to pay off with the subsidiaries collectively increasing their profit by 53%. Given that we are a regional bank, if one market is going through turbulence, uh, then you focus on the other markets and see whether you can compensate. None of the regional subsidiaries is pulling the group down. All of them are growing and growing pretty well. And uh, Uganda, 37% growth in profit, that, 38 in Tanzania, Rwanda, 72. The group's innovation and digitization strategy has seen 91% of all transactions move to variable cost delivery channels. All monetary transactions in equity are now happening on self-service uh, platforms. They are happening on third-party uh, platforms. They are happening on um, uh, variable cost infrastructure. And the bank has become, for 91% of our customers, a 24-hour bank, available 24 hours wherever they are. Diaspora remittances grew by 54% from 9.6 billion shillings to 14.8 billion in the nine months to September. What has happened is the traditional models of remittances that uh, are being um, weighted. And we guess by the end of uh, this year, we should be able to be doing about 60, 70 million dollars of uh, diaspora flows per month. Mobile Innovation, Equitel, saw the group capture 25.6% of the value of national money transfer in Kenya and 33% of the national market share of mobile commerce. The good thing, we have now lulled the whole digitization in all the subsidiaries and we believe by March uh, next year they will be almost at the same level with Kenya. And so the efficiency that is at uh, the Kenya level can hopefully be achieved at the group level. We have ev uh, eventually been able to compress distance it does, and geography. It doesn't matter where we are, you are, and we have compressed time. It doesn't matter what time of day or night you can do banking. Globally, the bank was cited for strong brand recognition by Moody's and ranked as the most preferred bank on customer preference and satisfaction by Geopol. 
to us, this talks a lot about um, what uh, Geo Paul have said, the confidence, the preferred uh, service provider, uh, the safe, secure place for my money. Equity continues to fortify its brand strength through social impact investments, including the education-based Wings to Fly and equity leaders programs, training of entrepreneurs, as well as social payments to the vulnerable.